Hello, I'm Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Kendomic food review just for you. I'm in the very rainy city of Barrie. I'm in the downtown core of Barrie. So a lot of you guys have been asking me, begging me to do Indian food. And there is an awesome, amazing, fantastic restaurant here in downtown Barrie called Terra Authentic Indian Cuisine. And my wife and I have been here several times. And uh, the last time I was here, and there goes the fire truck. What begins with F and ends in UCK? Fire truck! Last time I was here, I had the uh, lamb curry and it blew my mind right off this planet. So I'm like, I gotta come back here and do a food review just for you guys. So the lamb curry came to 1888. The, uh, I did the garlic naan and that was 475 and then uh, the, it, it's a, it's a, oh, she told me what it was. It's a certain kind of rice. You guys will know it. She told me what it was and it starts with the P. There's like white rice and then there's pea rice. Oh boy. Well, when, and my, when my wife and I were here last time, we had this man and it was beautiful. B-E-A, beautiful. And we came to that situation again, which we've come to before and I've talked to you guys about it, where when you order food, they go to pick it up. And as you're going through the process of your visa, they come to that screen where it says tip. Hmm, do you tip? Do you not tip? Ooh, what do you think that is, guys? It smells hot. Ooh, smells extremely curry flavors smell. Let's put that over there. Oh, don't put that on the seat. Don't put that on the seat. It is leaking. This may have not been the best thing to do in a car. What's this one? Is this the same thing? Nope. It smells like, um... It's very runny. It's very spicy. I was, I was gonna say, I, I couldn't possibly tell you what that is, but it, it's it's like a th super thick cream. And I guess you're just supposed to put that. I'm not an expert at like Indian cuisine. I just know I like it. I know there's curry in it and I know I like it. I'm going to the Toronto Maple Leaf game tomorrow in downtown Toronto with Paul. Yes, Paul's still alive. And uh, so I thought I'd wear this jersey. Oh boy, that looks good. There you go, there's the rice. Please let me know what kind of rice that is. Oh, I should have wrote it down. Sorry guys, apologize. Apologizing, oh my gosh. I am gonna be extremely happy and full. Let's make a dinner plate here in the car, people. This restaurant is just gorgeous inside. Check that out, guys. Lamb curry, a thing of beauty. Oh my gosh. I already, I'm already gonna give it a go out and get it now because I've already eaten it, and it's a go out and get it now. Mm. The spices that they use, I don't think I could ever replicate. Even if I took a course. Oh, and I went medium. They said, do you want it uh, uh, mild, medium, or hot? Medium. Their medium is just perfect. I'd like to know how they gauge it. What do you think? I've done a couple shoots in the past at night. And so I got light one and light, light one and light two. And I've got a third light down here. That one's bouncing off that window. And then I have napkins hanging from the roof in front of it because even these lights on their lowest setting, when it's dark, it just overpowers uh, me. Here's this white guy in a car that's dark and you put lights on him, this, I, my face gets all blown out. Oh. So I did a, a meat samosa and a veggie samosa. And I got two, or when the order comes, it comes with two. So, 
I got one for me and one for my wife because if I don't bring her home a samosa, I might as well not come home. Oh, and they, they make the best samosas. I'll show it to you in just a second. And then we got our nan bread. This nan bread is gonna blow your socks off, people. Oh my goodness. Oh my, look at it. Look at it. it, it when you eat it in the restaurant, it's like dripping with butter and garlic. Mm. Wow. We're supposed to, apparently, a little curry, a little lamb, a little rice. Take a bite of that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow, oh, that's beautiful. Unbelievable. I'm speechless. Okay, this is, look at the samosa. Look at it. Just check it out. I can't get too close because that light will overexpose it. Well, like, just hand wrapped. Mm. Meat samosa. Beautiful textures of the crunchiness. Beautiful flavors, curry, these little, uh, looks like peas in there as well. Mm. Try the vegetable one too. Oh my gosh, it's so good. A lot of tons of vegetables in there. Looks like we have. Oops, I gotta put that down. Everything's falling out of it. Take one more bite, hang. Oh. Whatever they wrap that in, just amazing. Oh, tastes like chickpea, potatoes, corn, peas. Possibly uh, carrots. Um, that's pretty good. I'm trying to think which one's better. I think you need to have both. Yep. so different and so good either way you go having both it's the way to go great appetizer as soon as you walk in the door two samosas two beef samosas two veggie samosas a couple beers hang back wait for them to come back to order again if you live in Barrie, Ontario, or you live nearby, please come down, try this curry, especially if you're like an expert at curry. I'm not. I just know what I like and what I don't like. And I love this. This is amazing. Oh, I have to eat more, guys. I have to eat more. I wish I could pour it all into there. Looking back now at my mistake, I should have asked her for two more tins, two more of these foil bowls. I guess you can, foil containers. That's so much food here, guys. You seriously could feed two people which totally makes sense. Again, that's a lot of food right there, right? And then you double that up with the rice, the naan, and the other thing, like I said, it came to like 50, after the tip, 
I did tip, uh, so it came to like $51, I think. I should be like mixing it up, right? Mm. Unbelievable. Mm. I've been also thinking about doing an actual kind of restaurant review where I talk to the owner and say this is what I want to do I want to feature you on my channel and not just this place all local awesome restaurants in Ontario New York anywhere I can get my hands on great food like this and just go in there and do an interview of the owner have a few different plates try them all out let you guys know which one i think is the best one and uh i think it'd be fun this food is so good it deserves a one o'clock in the morning shout out bite and this particular one o'clock in the morning shout out bite goes out to all my fans that live in india and sri lanka who've been emailing me sending me messages saying ken please do indian cuisine this bite right here of this lamb curry, this beautiful lamb curry. This one goes out to you guys. Cheers. Mm. Oh, that's a good piece. Mm-hmm. Mm, mm, mm. That bite was awesome. I am starving. I'm gonna polish off the rest of this and I'll be right back. Hang on. <laughs> And there we go, we're all packed up, ready to go home. Two things I forgot about, the two sauces. I was just so excited to eat the food as it was, and I forgot my sauces, which has happened before. Uh, but I packed everything up, everything's ready to go. I'm gonna have an amazing lunch tomorrow. On my rating scale, as you can probably already tell, is I would not recommend eating it in your car because then you forget all the toppings and everything. But as for the food, it is a go out and get it now plus, guys. This is one of the best Indian restaurants that I have been to in my life, and I have been to a few. So if you're in the downtown core in Barrie, Ontario, Canada, or you're visiting or you're dropping by, please try out the Terra Authentic Indian Cuisine, and you won't be disappointed, I guarantee it. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this late night food review, please hit the subscribe button, click the notification bell, and you won't miss the next one. But if you wanna show your support to me and to this awesome review, Hit it with a thumbs up, ding, 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 and we'll see you next time on another Ken Domic late night food review. Ken Domic out. <laughs> Looks like I was... The camera fell out the window! I'd very much like to do a one o'clock in the morning shout out, but I'm gonna be too bad for you, but out. Shout out, bout. All right, if you enjoyed watching this, ugh, what am I thinking? What am I saying? What am I doing? All right, guys, thanks for watching. Talk to you later, bye.